In today's tutorial, I will show you how to set up a custom domain using Squarespace. I will also be hosting this website on Netlify, but you can follow these exact same steps on any other web hosting platform. To get started, upload your website to a web hosting platform. Mine's already uploaded on Netlify. Inside the settings of your website, you should see an option to manage domains. So on Netlify, you just click on your website, then click Domain Management. Click Add a Domain. Type in your full custom domain, then click Verify. You should see a similar message here. Just click Add Domain. Depending on what you put as your subdomain, you will now either see two error messages like I'm seeing now, or just one. In my case, my subdomain was www. And if you're doing that as well, then you will see two different steps that we need to do. But if you used anything else, such as test.yourdomain.com, then you will only see one step to do. Now I will show you how to edit your DNS records on Squarespace. All we need to do is go back to Squarespace, go to the DNS settings. Under the custom records, click add record. And for the host, just type in www. However, if your domain does not start with www, and instead it's something like test.mydomain.com, then you would just type in test for the host value. But for these next steps, I'm going to assume that your custom domain starts with www. For the type, click CNAME. For the value here, we need to input the temporary domain that Netlify gave us, or whichever web hosting platform you're using. For example, Netlify gave me this temporary URL, so I would just use that as the alias value. So I'll just copy this and then just paste it in here and click save. If you use a different subdomain besides this one, such as test.yourdomain.com, then these are all the steps that you need to do. And if you wait just about five to 10 minutes, then your custom domain should start working. If you did use the same subdomain, then we just need to do one extra step and that's to add another record. So we can just click add record, type the at symbol just like this for type. Put A for the IP address. If we go back to Netlify and click this error message here, we can see that's telling us to point it to this specific IP address. So I will copy that and just paste it here and click save. And those are all the steps we need to do in Squarespace. If we go back to Netlify and refresh a page, we shouldn't see the error messages anymore. If you still see the error messages, just give it about five to 10 minutes and the error messages should eventually go away. Now we can click the custom domain and when we go to it, we should now see the website that we hosted earlier. If you see some type of error message after clicking on your domain, just go back to Netlify, scroll down, and make sure there's no errors under this section here. If you do see any errors, just scroll down until you see this Renew Certificate button and just click it to try to resolve the issue. And those are all the steps to set up a custom domain using Squarespace. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.